New video today, we thought we'd do a van tour. We get asked quite a lot about different specs of the vehicle and what we've done to them. And being as this one's on the front cover of VWT magazine this month, it seemed like the ideal opportunity to do this one. So it might look like a broken builder's van from the outside, but inside it's quite different. Um, we'll run you through that and show you what we've done to the inside and also show you the 14 sets of wheels that this van's had in its short life. So this van's just turned a year old actually. And um, it's got 7,000 miles on it. And in that time it's had yeah, 14 different wheels. So we'll show you those at the end and you can pick which ones you think are the best look that it's had. To start off with, we ordered a Ascot Grey start line. Wanted to do start line this time because my previous van was a bling chrome yellow TSI previously um, and it kind of was super bling, polished Ferrari wheels, you've probably all seen it and uh, yeah I just wanted to go a little bit more usable I suppose with this one so yeah so we went with Ascot Grey which at the time had never been seen it was a brand new colour I think this is the first one I'd physically seen in the flesh and I do really love this colour I'm um, super pleased with it so uh, yeah Ascot Grey start line uh, we went with a 150 GSG gearbox and ordered a few factory extra so front fog lights was one, heated seats was one, DSG was the other one, rubber floor load floor, bulkhead delete, uh, I think rear badge delete was an option and also no spare wheel because it doesn't work with the air ride and the size wheels that we put on it. So that was the start off with the base van. If you look back through some of our videos you'll see when it arrived and also when we fitted the air ride to it. So suspension wise it's got the low down transporter suspension. It also has H&R anti-roll bars and Powerflex rear camber adjusting bushes just as when I'm uh, running a wide wheel. Uh, I can get the camber right. These have actually got spaces on the back just to make that fitment nice. All about the fitment to mention about the air um, suspension is the quiet compressors that we have on these so we sell quiet compressors that make a massive difference one thing that's always bugged me about having vehicles on air ride is if you've got a pair of uh, via 444s which is the most common setup you really can hear them vibrating and when you're starting up and heading off in the morning at like six o'clock as i do um, yeah it wakes up the neighbors you see curtains twitching and these make a massive difference you can barely hear them yeah just massively impressed with them and they also feel quicker than your standard compressor that um, you would normally see in an air ride system so this has got the fuel zephyr wheels currently so as i said previously it's had 14 different sets of wheels and we'll show you all of those um, at the end of the video but this is my current set and i really love them especially in these weather conditions of uh, it's really nice to have grip again <laughs> and um, i'm used to rolling in 20 inch wheels and super skinny tires so this is a super luxury and it's been really helpful because we've had this moment I've actually really enjoyed having them. It's going to be a, it's going to be a tough one when I put 20s back on, and I really like the look, especially with the commercial bumpers. I think it really suits the not not use the term swamper, but the kind of 80 wheel commercial bumper look. So other than there, where do we go? A couple of different things: sunstrip, obviously, solo suspension, transport HQ sunstrip. Um, sequential side repeaters the thing that people don't ever seem to, to notice on this because it's really subtle is it has no fuel flap so if you've seen any of our older videos you'll note it you'll know that this one i've over to steve kirkby and he removed the fuel flap and smoothed it all in again so just really for the nice clean lines looks very factory but yeah just the little details but it's all in the detail as they say so it just gives that that kind of look um, that matches the other side where you've got no fuel flap i guess it is actually a little bit annoying when you're trying to fill it with fuel and you have to have your door open a little bit but it's worth it for the looks and then moving on to the rear so this is has what we call a jap spec tailgate so no such thing as a jap spec tailgate but it was an idea of mikey's that he did with his where again just kind of keeping the continuously continuous smooth lines from the side we uh, removed the high level brake light shorten the number plate recess to allow us to have because uh, they're really wide on the t6 i always thought they were too wide actually but we went perhaps a little bit too short and then added the japanese style um shortened import number plate I had a lovely comment on youtube about their japs but tailgate actually this week it would uh, what did it say moronic i think they called us removing the high level brake light so there you go i do love comments like that software wise at the moment it's just completely stock so it's the standard 150 brake dsg but uh, we've got revo beta software going on this next week so a bit extra horsepower and also the tvs dsg gearbox software just to complement the two and a revo panel filter in there just for good measure um, i've kind of held off uh, for decent weather to do that and also i wanted to put the two on together just to get the maximum effect out of it uh, but that tune in next week i think probably for a video based on those two things also another factory extra i didn't mention it has the electronic remote power folded mirrors uh, yeah so that's the outside and i keep saying but broken builders van look i really like it really like the commercial look the inside's quite different doesn't really match the outside so i'll take you in closer and uh, 
see what we've got in there. Right, moving inside, the first thing you'll notice is the GTD trim seat. So I ordered it with two single factory seats with armrests, heated obviously, I love heated seats. Uh, and these have been fully retrimmed in the GT Tartan with the, the vinyl sides. Moving into the dash area, we upgraded the steering wheel. So this is off a of Tiguan R, I think, but this is perforated leather, flat, flat bottom still, our logo there. And it's also got the paddle shift, not that you really need it with a 100 brake course DSG, but there you go, the options there if we need them. So stereo wise, just went for the factory standard head unit because it already has CarPlay built in and I like to use Google or Apple Maps as opposed to VW sat nav. Heated seats like I said, absolute must. We've also got this little device here which I'll explain in a minute, the DRC here for the for the audio. So the rest of the cab has genuine Alcantara throughout so these are pillar builds that Mikey did so we've got Alcantara on those um, headlining and also the B pillars are all genuine Alcantara which carries on right the way through the back. So I'll sh show you that a little bit closer and also, so these are all done by Hadley Trim, who does all our trimming, sun visors as well, all fully trimmed in Alcantara, just gives it a really nice luxury feel, really, really like this, it kind of just makes it feel more car-like if you like inside. So moving on to audio, so you can see in the pillar builds here, these are Rainbow Profis, uh, mids and tweeters, the DRC controller here, which is the first thing that's obvious in the dash, so with this being a start line there wasn't loads of buttons here there was just the start stop button was just there so we had that removed and smoothed this in or just shaped the contour slightly so that the drc could fit in there nice and neatly so the drc is the remote control that works the audio so you can switch the balance and the fade and, and various settings up from there that's connected to something under the seat so we'll show you in a minute so yeah rainbow pro feeds tweeters and mids there give off absolutely amazing sound and then underneath the driver's seat you can see the amplifier there so that's a processor that controls all the speakers so uh, they can draw the door speakers which are melee legends the speakers in the b pillars and also the rainbow speakers they're in the rear so moving around to the passenger side so i didn't want to have to worry about the audio uh, if we're sitting still or at a show or at a campsite or anything like that draining the battery so it has a full ledger battery system underneath the driver's seat which is purely just for the audio so sorry, sorry purely just for the audio so that's got ctec smart charger connected to a ledger battery and then that ledger battery then feeds and powers all of the amps right moving into the rear so my last van we did a full caravel setup in uh, and the children used to always close the blinds it had van chase blinds in it so this time around we decided to go for no windows keep that commercial look on the outside and still fit the the combi seats in the back so this is a, a triple out of the t6.1 fitted in all the factory over the factory seat belts um, and the kids love it actually they think it's uh, they call it the cinema room because they always had the van shades closed so they could watch tv if we we're on long journeys or watch the ipad which i'll show you in a moment so headlining again genuine alcantara right the way through so the little spotlights work off the door when you open the open the doors and also they work off the control in the headlining panel uh, sorry in the, in the cab panel and then there's a little rocker switch just here and that is for the led strip light that goes all the way around around the rainbow speakers in the back there and then that's the bulk kit for the Ivano which I'll show you in a minute so these rear seats obviously completely come out or they completely fold down uh, and I'll show you what's hidden behind that lot so the next feature we have in the back is the iPad mount so it's a little thing really but my children call this a cinema room as I said because they're lighted and everything but when we're traveling along we use an iPad for them to watch Netflix on uh, with headphones or uh, it can be connected to the stereo and I'll show you how in a second but we use this rock iPad mount that's mounted to the ceiling here really nice and discreet when you're not using it just has this little cap here that can be removed uh, and then you connect your the mount up pop your ipad in stream your netflix this you know with, off your phone or with a sim card that's in it and then the, they can watch whatever they want while they're driving along if, if i'm in the front and i want to listen to some music they just uh, listen to headphones uh, if we're parked up and they want the full cinema sound this ipad can connect to the the media box that's connected to the carplay and we can then adjust the sound so the speakers are predominantly coming from the back so flip the rear seats up and you'll see the sub box that's built into this into the Arno bed system which was like my discovery of 2020 i absolutely love this thing but um i'll show you that, that in a bit more detail so built into this or just sitting on the tray on the back of it we've got a sub box with two 12 inch alpine subs and they've independently both got amp that powers each one so the sound is incredible uh, really impressed with it steve at paintworks nicely painted these ascot gray little finishing touch but it's just uh, like i said it's all in the detail and then above here you've got the rainbow speakers that are built into the the uh, headlining so this headline is from plyworks 
it just came raw but it's really easy to fit it's got all the right fittings uh, we trimmed the edge of it in carpet and then the center of it in the alcantara as i said but yeah check them out plyworks they do it as a kit for a long wheelbase and a short wheelbase with with or without speaker options so uh, yeah we just had these made deep enough that we could fit the rainbow speakers in because they are quite deep for the quality of the sound and we actually had to sculpt the avano out of the shape of the avano to fit around those so that's the middle of the van moving on to the rear so we've been raving about these for a while so it's not something you can buy from us you should buy these direct from avano but this is the avano xl this is just perfect for me and what i use it for so the idea is i like to keep the bulkhead up and i can store stuff on the back here and you've got the big open drawer that slides open really heavy duty drawer can take loads away i can load kit in that whereas when shows are open again you can we can um, load some stock in there the sub box sits on the back of the tray and then that's like double the storage so i can load loads of stuff in there and um, also keep kind of keep the bulkhead up so it's, you don't necessarily have the sound of the stuff that's vibrating around in the back there then with the bulkhead you can fold that down you just release this string just here fold the th uh, bulkhead down and then i put an inflatable mattress up and it's uh, ready to sleep in so this one's like fully insulated and soundproof with a dodo range like we went all out on this proper went to town so it's um yes it's it's nice and cozy in here So yeah, it just has a fuel lagoon screen wrap on it and then it's uh, ready to sleep in. So inside the Ivano pull-out drawer, you've also got this uh, carpet that was made for us by Custom B-Dubs. If you've got one of these Ivano bed systems, uh, this is the XL, so it's the extra wide one. James over at Custom B-Dub makes these carpets, he's got them on file, so you can just ask him and he can get them pre-made for you. But I know just Ivano are actually doing a rubber one as well, now that it can go into that space. So I mentioned the multimedia box, well this is it, this just plugs into the... A USB-C port and that allows us to wirelessly stream your mobile phone so you can watch Netflix and stuff on the screen. The standard stereo screen but it also allows you to uh, Bluetooth the audio from the iPad to the front so you can get the cinema sound coming out of all the speakers. One thing you'll also always find in my van and that's a bottle of this stuff, Maguire's waterless wash and wax so you never know when you need it to be that fresh and clean for a show or just to get that sneaky picture somewhere. Right, so as mentioned at the start of the video, this van's had 14 sets of wheels. So I'll just run through these with you and let us know in the comments at the bottom which one of your favourite ones. One, standard factory VW 16 inch deals. And two, uh, VW 19 inch Cantera is off an Amarok. Three, 20 inch Rotiform 6OR. Four, Radier SD11 forge splits. One of my favourites, these ones. This is what it went towards my dubs on. And then we've got 20 inch prototype Weller steel smoothies. Don't think they ever made these, this was a one off set, but it never really came of anything. 20 inch Rotiform OZRs. 19 inch Rotiform ZMOs. 19 inch banded Range Rover Space Savers. The wheels that are on the cover of VWT magazine, the 20 inch BBS CHR2 splits with the black lips and the bronze centres. They're still my favourite wheel to date, I think those ones. Navis 20 inch steel smoothies. Navis 20 inch holy steels. Right, so quick update on the Navis wheels while we're talking about those. Uh, they, they're slightly delayed, so we're expecting them end of April, early May, but they are coming. So that's the Navis, uh, Navis 20 inch steel wheels and also the 19 inch steel wheels. Um, so from there we went on to the 20 inch Navis Twin 5 alloys. Uh, update on those, they should be here at the end of April. So they're now coming in three colours, we've got the silver, um, anthracite and also we've gone for a death bronze colour as well. So super so excited to get those on this. Fuel Cover all-terrain wheels, their prototypes, they should be available in three months I think. And then finally the wheels that are on it now, which is the 17 inch Fuel Zephyr AT wheels, which uh, yeah, I'm absolutely loving. So I hope you enjoyed the van tour. We'll probably do the flatbed next actually because that's nearly finished and then we'll move on to the solo docker and run you through that. Let us know which wheels you preferred. Comment below. Interested in seeing what we do, make sure you follow the channel and click the little bell to get notifications when we upload a new video. Next week, hopefully we have a video coming on the um, Revo beta software and TVS software that's going to go on this. We also should be close to finishing the flatbed now, it's just the interior needs to go in and uh, a few audio tweaks, so one of those will come next week and then uh, we'll keep the videos coming. As always, thanks for watching. <laughs>